you know, Idaho is one of the last states to have a case. Um, so last March, when it finally happened, it was about the middle of March, and you know, we immediately went on, my husband and I went on lockdown. We're like, we can't see the kids. Um, my daughter had, has, she has two babies now, but at the time, um, our first grandson was a year and a half old. And we said, we can't, we can't see you guys. You know, we couldn't see our sons. We couldn't see our daughter, son-in-law and grandson. Um, didn't see my mom, my sister. So for like six weeks, March through beginning of May, we didn't, we didn't see anybody. And um, I didn't go to the grocery store. I didn't go anywhere. My husband and I went right before our state had a lockdown. We went stocked up on everything. And then, um, and then that was it. My daughter would pull up in the driveway and roll the window down so I could chat with her and chat with the grandson um, and see him from a distance, but that was it. And I thought, we and we had all kinds of trips and travel planned for 2020, including um, two IMF seminars, no less. <laughs> we were gonna go to Seattle, we were gonna go to LA, we were gonna go to Europe, we had all these things planned. And I kept thinking in my head, this isn't going to last. This is only going to last for a month. And then we'll be, we'll still be able to go. And one by one, the April trip had to get canceled. The May trip got canceled. The July trip got canceled. I mean, everything. The support group leader summit in Dallas got canceled. And I kept thinking in my head, there's no way these things are going to get canceled. And eventually it starts to become a way of life. But I know the first six weeks, we were really, really, really strict. And then the numbers were not really bad here in Idaho. So by, the, by May 1st was my husband's birthday. And he said, by golly, it is my birthday. We are going to have the kids over for dinner. So we had all the kids and the grandbaby over for dinner for my husband's birthday. Um, and then, then we were still careful. Um, they were kind of our bubble, although... You know, our son, and by this time we find out that our daughter is pregnant again, so she's being really careful. But her husband is still going to work every day. My husband is still going to work. Our boys are still going to work and in different social circles. So we still had to be really careful with them, especially when the numbers here in Idaho started to climb again. So by late June or July, we're, we're not going out we had gone to one or two restaurants that we trusted and always wore our mask in and out, but then we quit doing any of that. Um, I still do grocery pickup. I order my groceries online. I drive and let them put them in my trunk. I've been doing that for almost a year now. It's kind of become a way of life. I, in the beginning, I missed going to the grocery store. Now I don't really look forward to it. Um, yeah, I, I, the longer it goes on, the less social I feel, the less I want to be around a large group of people. Uh, <clears throat> I'm hoping when I get the vaccine, I'll start to feel differently um, and trust going out again. But we do still see our kids. If we know that they're in a situation where they've been around people we don't know and don't know where they've been, then we'll give it a couple of weeks before we see them. Um, the the biggest impact has been not being able to travel and not having our support group meetings in person, having to do those virtually because um, we all miss each other and we miss seeing each other face to face. And um, our group really does look forward to seeing each other every month. So, um, so that's been, that's been hard. I do miss, I miss them a lot and I, I look forward to when we can all meet together in person again. Um, but yeah, those are probably the two biggest impacts that I feel right now is missing out on travel and missing getting together with people.